then the earth changes. Then the path of cataclysm is avoided. Then the earth begins to restore itself. And the spirits you, living on the earth, restore to themselves their sacred memories, their ancient memories of who they really are. I see great complexity in many works, in many books, in many theories. Great complexity. And if you are on the cusp of wondering whether something is right for you or not, if you go within and cannot make up your mind, view the area that you are excited by, enticed by, through your physical mind, and think, is it complex? Is it complex? Is it complicated? Does it go around in circles? Are there a lot of big words? Do I have to understand great swathes of material in order to absorb and take on board this material? If the answer is yes, then throw it out. If the answer is yes, then throw it out. Because the answer to the future of your world, the answer to the future of spiritual evolution on earth, is simple. So, so simple. It is the dot within the circle. And the dot within the circle is saying, I am God, you are God, remember. I am God, you are God, remember. Nothing more complex than that. And at the point that that is taken on board, everything else makes sense. And the scales fall away and you do what is necessary to change the world, to expand the amount of time that this earth has left in its present form. In its present form, because again there is an arrogance that society has that considers that the earth will go if you go, if we go. No. The earth is stronger than that. The earth has guardians. The earth guards itself. We will go, you will go, but the earth will continue. The earth will be reshaped. Reshaped. Unfortunately, it will be reshaped so that souls can come back to experience at the same point at which they left. Has to be so. Spiritual law, God's law, universal law. So the earth will prepare itself for millennia and back we will come. Back we will come. Innocent. After a long sleep. Innocent after a long sleep, but with the same tendencies built into our souls. And it matters not whether there is another Atlantis or another civilization, or skyscrapers, or cities, or villages, or mud huts. People will be people at the point at which they left this earth by causing cataclysm. And they will have to take up the journey again, because only they can rid themselves of the past, of the controlling and enveloping and constricting effects of the past. And that goes back to the fall. And the only way to get rid of those constricting memories and constricting tendencies, which will out, is to change your mind about them. Not this mind, but this mind. Is to say, I let them go. And in letting them go, you let the whole scenario go. You weaken the field around you, you weaken the field around others, and you extend the life for you on this planet. Is that a sufficient answer, please? Thank you. Thank you. Another question, please. Can I ask a question? Are there beings being incarnated on Earth from previous universe, and if so, what is their purpose in this universe? I let you all into a secret. You are all from a previous universe. You are all from every universe. Because you are all from God. It is only your perception that boxes you in. 
you see that we, an excellent question and thank you but you see how your perception boxes you in it boxes you in in terms of is there life outside the solar system it boxes you in in terms of is there life outside of this universe is there a previous universe is there a universe to come and yes there have been many universes but you have been a part of them all because you are visitors you are guests you are children playing in realms of physicality but you cannot remember that you came from beyond those realms of physicality so when the universe this particular physical universe began to expand you were not tied to its you are not dependent on its expansion in order to exist you existed outside of it despite it apart from it and what is also exciting is that you still do part of spiritual evolution part of spiritual awakening will be an expansion of your ability to perceive the effects of the fall, terrible to always bracket it like that, the effects of the fall, the outcome of the time when certain spirits got it wrong, for the right reasons initially, but got it wrong. The effects limit your perception. Is it not true that dogs can hear on levels that humans can't? Is it not true that they are discovering bands of light that are beyond human perception? Why? Because those things exist beyond the matrix of perception of the human being. But once you were privy to those extra dimensions, and you, are, you were able to not only perceive them, but use them as your tools in order to create the worlds that you wish to live in, in order to experience, in order to take that experience back to God, and in order to share your experiences with others. At the same time knowing that others are also yourself, and that God is yourself. So, souls are at present, with regard to the earth, incarnating, directly from the levels, as, as you would have it, this is another blocking off of the mind, uh, in, uh, incarnating from the levels directly above this one, because they wish to come back, and we have discussed this, we have highlighted this in other talks, or from higher levels. But always, in my experience, the souls, the brilliant points of light, who are incarnating now in an attempt to shift consciousness before it is too late, are incarnating from the cleansing levels that exist, and here a relative term, around this earth, around this area of space. Never from beyond, because beyond is too refined a place. That sounds terrible too refined a place, but it is, compared to where you are existing at the moment, locked within the boundaries, the fences of the field, these, the, the spheres above this one, above the cleansing spheres, are too brilliant to have an impact on the earth at this time, on the uh, consciousness of mankind at this time, on the field, certainly, at this time. So beings are sent, spirits are sent, like you, like me, however they are clothed, or sent from the higher cleansing spheres. They take the decision to incarnate, as do you all, but for a different reason. Many people come back for one more trip, one more ride, one more thrill, to do it all again. The spirits from the cleansing spheres, from the higher levels of the cleansing spheres, come back because they love you so much that they cannot rest, they cannot go on until they have made a point, until they have presented something for you to accept or to reject 
but to look at, to consider. Would that we could convince people not to reincarnate. Oh, would that we could. Sometimes we can, sometimes we can't. Very often we can't. They are blinkered, they are hell-bent, because you are coming back into a hellish situation. They are hell-bent on coming back to re-experience, to take up the reins exactly where they left off in the past life. Would that we could convince them otherwise, to go on, to cleanse themselves, to evolve through the spheres, and then to escape back into infinity, back to God, back to the creative playground that you all came from originally. And that is why spirits, higher spirits, higher, more highly evolved spirits uh, incarnate. I have the choice. I'm sharing with you secrets tonight. I had the choice to come back. And I took one look and said, no. <laughs> but seriously, I felt that I could, on this occasion, do more good by channeling information directly from what you would regard as a high sphere. But others from my group have and do decide to come back. And our hearts go out to those spirits because they are taking on a great deal. It is not as though they can simply come back into physical bodies and teach and remember who they are and teach. As they come back into the dampening effect of the field, that portion of their memory that links them to where they have come from is white. And they have to rediscover it via the channeling of light to them from our sphere and higher spheres. They are in danger for every second of their incarnation. And we feel for them, and we weep for them, and we bite our nails, as it were, for them, until they are restored to us. The danger is that they will forget, during that incarnation, totally who they are. And that that mission that they set off uh, on with such zeal will never come to pass because they cannot remember it. Because the field loves highly evolved spirits. It eats them for lunch, and dinner, and tea, and supper, because of the light that they give out. Remember that the field needs energy. The field is a negative field of energy. No better source than, ooh, the light is strong in this one. Strong in this one. So that the spirits who come are in danger. I've gone out of my way again and around the houses, and we talked about universes and spirits. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to ask all of those efforts. <clears throat> Previously, you've spoken to us of being compressed. With decompression coming from spirituality, is there a danger of an adverse physical reaction to this increased opening of communication with spirit? That is a very interesting question. Very interesting question. 